this video I'm going to uh, be going through some examples um, of how you can use um, a quick little trick to identify your conic section without actually completing the square. Um, over here I have the chart that I use to do this um, and in an earlier video I demonstrated how you can generate this chart with some mnemonics uh, and such. I will put the link for that down in the um, description as well here but just um, the mnemonic that I used in the previous video um, was for the first letter of each one of these to remember how to fill these in and it was um, elephants can't party hard uh, just kind of cute little mnemonic there to help you remember that ellipse, circle, parabola, and hyperbola are right there. And then um, some other um, helpful suggestions on how you fill in this side. And that was all demonstrated in that other video. But in this video I mainly just want to go through and show you how to apply this little chart and how you can quickly identify your conic section without completing that square. Um, okay, so in this first example right here what I have done is I've went ahead and highlighted the A coefficient and the C coefficient in red just so it stands out a little bit. All right, and then keep in mind this uh, does work. Um, the shortcut only works when my B term is gone, so when B is equal to zero. All right, so in this uh, first example, A is one and C is one. So if I take A and C and multiply them, one times one is one. One is greater than zero, so then um, it fits this first scenario, but with it being either an ellipse or a circle, you do have to now go down and check for a circle. When A equals C, then you know it is the circle, not the ellipse, and in one does equal one, so then on this first one here I have a circle. All right, very quickly, very quickly able to determine that without completing the square. Now, looking at the second example, I've again highlighted A and C, so A is four and C is nine. Nine times four is 36. 36 is greater than zero, and definitely A does not equal C, so then that means my second example has to be an ellipse. All right, for the third example, um, I again have highlighted A and C, so A is 4, and C is actually negative 9 right there. You've got to recognize that it is a negative, so 4 times negative 9 is negative 36, which means A times C is less than 0, which means I have a hyperbola. And in the last example, I've highlighted A as being the 1 there, but there is no Y squared term, so that means I have no C term, which means then if that term's not there, then C has to be zero. All right, so one times zero is zero. That falls in the category of the parabola. So then my last example there is a parabola. All right, so just four quick little examples of how you actually use this sh uh, shortcut trick. And if you need help definitely learning or figuring out how to very quickly write this chart, you're going to want to watch that other video that gives you your mnemonics for how you can create that chart. Um, definitely thanks for watching, and be sure and give me a thumbs up. Thanks.